In today's video, we'll take a look at the inspection, power-up, and warm-up procedures for the Haas CNC mill. Let's review the lesson objectives. By the end of this video, students will be able to perform the power-up inspection, including checking the oil, grease, and air, power on the machine, test the e-stop, clear alarms, and perform the power-up restart procedure. And finally, run the spindle warm-up program. Begin by moving any toolboxes out of the way to access the machine's coolant sump. Use a flashlight to inspect the coolant level. The level should be approximately one inch below the rectangular access hole cutout. Any lower and more coolant should be added. This level looks okay for now. Now, let's check the oil system. The oil is used to lubricate the spindle bearings. While it does not need frequent refilling, it should be checked on a regular basis. Here, the oil is just below the max line. Next, let's check the grease canister. The grease is used to lubricate the linear guideways. Here, the grease level has gone down, but some grease remains stuck to the side of the canister, so be sure to look close at the actual grease level. It looks like it's down about one-third of the way, so we still have plenty left for now. The grease and oil both should last over a year running a normal production shift, and you should notice the machine use some of each. If the machine isn't using any, or if either one is very low or empty, do not use the machine until it's inspected by a service technician. Now, let's check the air pressure. For this machine, the supply pressure must be at least 80 PSI. Larger machines may have higher pressure requirements. Our gauge reads well above 80, so we're in good shape. Next, close the door and power on the machine. Be sure to make note of the safety warnings during the boot-up process. When the machine turns on, you'll see an alarm that reads 102, servos turned off. Servos are the motors that control the X, Y, and Z linear axes of motion. This alarm is normal upon machine power-up. Also note the instruction to press the emergency stop. This checks two things. One, that the e-stop is operational, and two, that you know how to use it. Firmly press to set it, and gently twist clockwise to release. Press reset twice to clear any alarms, followed by the blue power-up restart key. The machine will elevate the Z-axis, then take the X and Y axes to the G28 home position which moves the table all the way under the tool changer and toward the door. The machine will also change to the default tool defined in setting 81. The power-up process is now complete. Next, we need to run the spindle warm-up program. When a machine has been sitting in a cold shop overnight, the oil in the spindle bearings is pulled down by gravity and also thickens. Running the warm-up program is an essential step to circulate oil to the spindle bearings before running the spindle at high speeds. Failure to run the spindle warm-up program can result in serious damage to the spindle bearings. Put the machine into list programs mode and view the programs stored in the machine's memory. When you first boot up the machine, it does not default to the spindle warm-up program. It loads the last active program from before it was last shut down. Use the cursor arrows to select program 02020, spindle warm-up. Almost every Haas mill ever made has this same 02020 spindle warm-up program. Press the select program key to make this the active program. The active program is designated by a small letter A icon next to its name. Now, place the machine into memory mode by pressing the MEM key. Notice we're in memory mode with the 02020 spindle warm-up program active in memory. Verify the correct code. It should be a sequence of spindle speeds with M3 spindle clockwise commands alternating with G04 dwell commands with a dwell time of around 200 seconds per line. There are no X, Y, or Z moves in the spindle warm-up program. 
the warm-up program on this machine steps from 500 to 6,000 RPM over the course of about 20 minutes. A slight customization we've done to our spindle warm-up program was to add a line of code with an M95 sleep command. This is so we can power on the machine in the morning, then have it warm up over lunchtime. This line of code features the backslash block delete character. To ignore this line of code, simply turn on block delete by pressing that key in the memory mode row of keys. After verifying the spindle warm-up program is active and ready to run, reset the cursor to the top and press cycle start. Notice the window background turns a pale yellow color when the program is running. Here's what it looks like in the machine. Notice we've commanded 500 RPM and the machine is holding about 497 or 498. This is normal to be within a few RPM of the commanded value. Also notice the G04 dwell command is executing as indicated by the hourglass icon and dwell time in seconds counting down on the display. Toward the end of the cycle, the machine will reach 6,000 RPM. Here's what that sounds like. After about 20 minutes total, our spindle warm-up is now complete and we're ready to begin making parts. Let's recap the process. Inspect the coolant, oil, grease, and air. Power on the machine, e-stop and release, clear alarms, and power up restart. Select and run the Zero 2020 Spindle Warm-Up program. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.